My name is Alexander Okereke. Uh, I am an entrepreneur at Meltwater here, MEST. Um, I've been here for almost two years. Uh, so the program, my program started um, last year, August. So I'll be wrapping up around um, June, July of next year. So mine is a two year program, yeah. So when I was in school, I, I, I was a founding president of an organization, the um, IEEE, Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineer. So I was very close with my professor, Dr. Ajan John. He had attended um, a MEST meetup. So he told me about it. It's a software school in Accra. They take you on a two-year scholarship program. They teach you software, business, communications. Um, why don't you check it out? So funny thing is, the next day he came to the class, he told the whole class, and I was the only one who applied in my class. Like, funny. I came down to the interview, uh, first of all, the examination, I came down, I didn't see anybody from my school, I applied, and the process continued on to the interview. So um, back to why I applied, um, when I was in school, I really started some business, online retail, Melco Buy, started a um, training school for people, and it felt like the next best thing for me to do. Why not start up your own business? Why not be your own boss? So, for me then, I was just getting to know about entrepreneurship, how to be independent, how to be in charge of your own business, running a business from morning to evening. So I went online to their website um, and I saw some of the companies that have come out of the program, Seiya, Kudobas, um, Letty Arts, and they, had, they were doing quite well. As at that time, Kudobas was um, either acquired or about to be acquired. And this was so exciting. This, you, young guys who are doing things, starting up companies, and I was like, yo, why don't I just try it out? So that was how I applied, and this is me here now. Before I came to the program, I, I studied computer engineering. I was an engineer. So when I came to the program, as usual, they teach you software development, uh, business, communications. So over the, over the course of my stay here, over the months of months goes by, I discovered that I was a business person. So I was more into business, um, sales and marketing, business development. I, I enjoy talking to a customer, I enjoy making them buy a product, convincing them. So I discovered that although I studied computer engineering, I had the flair for business. I, I enjoy talking to people about business and all that. And I, I discovered that with determination, you can really do whatever you want to do. I got to meet wonderful people here. I mean, outside there, this is like a whole new environment on its own. The mass community is massive. The resources here, it's massive. So meeting these people here, these are people I would not have met on a normal day outside. And the resources we're exposed to, these are opportunities I would not have gotten to, to see or meet on a normal day. So MERS is like a whole new world, opened up a whole new opportunity for me as an individual, um, developing my career. So MEST is big for me, so MEST opened me up to a lot of things. If you want to come down to MEST, you have to be ready for the work. So MEST is giving us an ecosystem where we can blossom, where we can grow, we can mature as entrepreneurs. But for you to be um, a good, a better entrepreneur, you have to be ready to work. The resources are here, the people who know these things are here. But well, you can't just come here and not expect to work. So if you want to come down to MEST, you should be ready to work. You should be ready to put in the hours, the time. And people say entrepreneurship is a selfish thing because you're chasing the dream. You're chasing, chasing the, 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 folk, the dream. You don't really care about, say, family. Sometimes you're, you're on a task. So you need to be focused. You need to be willing to leave out a lot of distractions. And I think... I mean, I'm happy I'm here, but it's very, very demanding. So if you want to be here, you have to be ready. Your mindset, the way you think, mentally tough, a whole lot of things come into play when you're thinking about applying to MEST. Yeah. We have a very, very interesting business, um, Book Ready. So um, we are wrapping up our program for our second year and um, we're working towards our new co. New co is a new company stage. So our product is Book Ready, B O O K R O E D D I dot com. So Book Ready, it's a platform where businesses can list their services. So as a business, for example, a spa, um, 
you can come to our website, you list your service, and anyone who wants to have a spa treatment can go book a period from 1 to 2 p.m. Um, they can pay online. So Brookhead is basically a platform where businesses can be discovered, they can accept bookings and they can pay, and customers can pay online for the services. Um, so that is what I'm working on with my teammate, Lord Bruce Tego. We are currently planning our um, pilot and MVP launch. Um, we, are, we are targeting 200 businesses. We want to roll out by January to 200 businesses to get a feel of what the customers want, let them interact with us, what they want to see in the product. And apart from Book Ready, I also have uh, my baby, um, Stell, S-T-E-L, Students Entrepreneurship Lab. It's basically a community of entrepreneurs who are advocating greater inclusion of students in SHS and tertiary school into entrepreneurship. So we go from tertiary campus um, to campus, teaching students about entrepreneurship, having workshops with them, connecting and linking them up to mentors who will mentor them, who will guide them, um, conducting competitions, pitching, trying to get students excited about entrepreneurship. That's basically what STEL is. I mean, sometimes it gets so crazy. I mean, here we, we always say that 24 hours in a day is not enough for us. Like, we need maybe 26 hours in a day. So it's not easy, but then it's, you have to be very good at managing your time. So over the past year, I noticed that I'm a good multitasker. So, I mean, these are just the projects I've told you about. I'm into a lot of projects that if I tell you about them, you'll be surprised. How do I do like six, seven projects in a day? So that is part of what the program does to you. The program grinds you. Like, you get better at multitasking. You get better at being efficient with your time. So that is how we are who we are. That is how you're able to build a product. You want to scale a product. Also have a side project you're working on, putting equal energy in that, building a team around that. So it's about being efficient, um, being very good at managing your time, not wasting time in things that are not relevant. This little, little time to spend, so we can always put that back into the work. So being efficient, basically. So as an entrepreneur who has been in the space for not too long, but I think it's perseverance and dedication. You have to be committed. So, I mean, over the course of my program, I've been involved with a lot of projects, 10, 15. Most of them, as you go on, they, they don't really, um, they don't make sense. You see that there's really, you're not offering any value to people. You have to drop them. So when it comes to um, a stage like this, you shouldn't be discouraged that what you're working on is not really making progress. You have to move on, look for the next idea, for the next big thing. And really, entrepreneurs, a key thing I think most people are missing out on is networking. They say your, your, net, your network is your net worth. So you need, to be, um, you need to be in the space, you need to get to know people because somebody you want to get to might just be four connections away from you. So um, for entrepreneurs, one, be dedicated, be ready for the work. You have to be mentally tough and you have to have a good network. So that is it from me.